Hi friends, it's Deb. I am going to do my November empties. This is the fastest I have ever, ever had them done. Today is the 4th of December. I've never been this prepared before. I'm usually filming my empties like two months after the fact. So it is so nice to think that all of this garbage will be out of my house today. <laughs> it's delightful. I'm going to start with wax and just, yeah, because I want to. I have three of these clamshells from a company called Ivy Botanics. Danny gifted me two packs. They were three packs. One was a certain scent family. These were all pumpkin scents. There's pumpkin cocoa, pumpkin vanilla, and pumpkin pie. And I'll show you what a clamshell looks like. There were eight squares in each one, and these smelled so freaking good. I don't think I have a favorite out of these. Yeah, I don't think I have a favorite. They were all so good, and I'm so glad that I remembered to pull these out and get them all melted around Thanksgiving time. So good. I could not find exact retail values on their site. They do not sell wax melts so i took the price of a candle and divided that down by ounces and grams to how many were in here and i came up with 470 a clamshell which is actually cheaper than most clamshells with similar ounces so we're just going to call it 470 a piece they're done i finished the island margarita candle from Bath and Body Works. I like this one out in the kitchen. Scent notes of sweet mandarin, island mango, sea salt, and natural essential oils. <laughs> it's so pretty and this jar was so pretty. Although I don't really see jars because jar candles I always melt in a candle holder just in case they break. It holds the jar together and hopefully the wax will like snuff out the flame. And this one is leaves. <sighs> Sorry, this was $24.50. This is Leaves from Bath and Body Works, my number one favorite tied with Pink Fairy Gumdrop. Scent notes of crisp red apple, golden nectar, warm cloves, and it says something else on here that I can't see, probably cinnamon or spices. <laughs> so, so freaking good. $26.50. Oh, delightful. Love it. That's a constant repurchase for me. Even if I say that I hate Bath and Body Works and I will never purchase from them again, I always repurchase hand soaps and that candle. <laughs> I'm a loser. From Zodiac Spokane, I have a clamshell in Pumpkin Patch, $4.99. Their clamshells come in these compostable bags, which I really appreciate, except this one did get a little bit wet sitting by my sink and it started to break down, so oops from that smell good shop cinnamon apple 325 from rose girl randomly oh there was only one little cube left in here and i melted it in my little guy here oh no no value for that won't want from the waxy shop sugar plum fairy 450 i remember i won that in a giveaway on instagram and from goose creek Toasty Hot Toddy, five bucks. Wow, I totally glitched on that whole thing. My wax totals, I finished 10 items this month. Nine were full size, one little mini, and no declutters. My wax total was 82.84, which is still a pretty good month just for, I was gonna hold up my bin and show you my few little items, but I threw a clamshell, so I guess it doesn't count anymore. Oh, good then. Okay, anyway, hold please. For the miscellaneous category, I finished three of the makeup remover wipes from AOA, one green tea and two watermelon. These are a dollar a piece. I finished three of the makeup remover wipes from Sweet and Shimmer, $2.99 a piece. I finished a soap sample from Zodiac Spokane. This one was in the scent or flavor. I guess you don't eat soap, uh, unless you're a naughty child. Uh, pounce. Bar soap, I find that 
a lot of them irritate my skin. So I have a like a foot scrubby pad that suctions to the bottom of my shower and I just stick a bar of soap on there and then to clean my feet I run my feet over my bar of soap and then rub them on the little scrubby pad that almost looks like a makeup brush scrubber it's okay anyway but that's how I clean my feet that's how I'm getting through bar soap two hand sanitizers one pocket back from Bath and Body Works in Twisted Peppermint $1.95 this one from Alika one of their refillable spray things which I have not figured out how to find a refill. Every time I look it up, I just see the full, the whole kit. Uh, four ninety seven. I'm going to set that off to the side so I can look into that more. A Daiso sponge detergent, six dollars, and four hand soaps from Bath and Body Works. Two of these. Oh my gosh, three of these were in my bathroom and one of them was in the kitchen. Yeah, well, okay. okay. The first one is Leaves, $8.95, scent notes of crisp apple, golden nectar, and warm clove spice. Just like the candle, I freaking love it. Sweater Weather, $8.95. Fragrance notes of sage, eucalyptus, and fresh woods. Love it this time of year. Man down. Harvest Gathering, seven fifty. Scent notes of fresh picked apples, autumn berries, and clove buds. Perfect this time of year. And Vampire Blood. Scent notes of red berries, night blooming jasmine, and petrifying plum. This was uh, delightful. Seven ninety five. So I finished fourteen miscellaneous items, and all of them were full size, for a grand total of fifty eight twenty four. <laughs> that just seems so underwhelming. But I guess, yeah, most of my things seemed like they were a dollar. So okay, anyway, uh, that's the that on that. I'll be right back. For skincare, I finished the Pixie Skin Treats Hydrating Milky Mist. Absolutely love this. Oh, I didn't put a thing on here. Oh, I did. Just kidding. <laughs> Fooled you. This was in my throwback. $30. $15. Delightful. Do I still need this? I think I do. Also in my throwback 30, I finally finished the Pharmacy Green Clean in Pear Punch, $24. For throwback 30, well, I had a good month for throwback 30. I finished these two samples from Shiseido, the Ultimune Power Infusing Concentrate, $22. Isn't that so and this one here is the Sun Dual Care SPF 42, 817. Ridiculous. I finished some sheet masks, two of the Crim Shop Baby It's Gold Outside. These are $3 a piece. The Wim by Ulta Beauty Peppermint, this is the Foot Moisturizing Mask, $6. For eye patches, I finally used the pack of five from Skin Camp. I had these in same pan and they were expired, but I tried them all anyway. $4 a piece, so a grand total of $20. Ridiculous. These were dried out and they sucked. One of the Azure Retinol, nope, that's not what they're called. They're called 24 karat gold and retinol under eye pads. $260. From Frank Body, the Coconut Coffee Scrub, $18.95. I talked about that in my Panning Cats and Dogs update. From Happy Hour, I finished the Tatcha, the Water Cream, $22 for this little baby one. Oh my gosh. This lasted, how many weeks did this last me? Two, maybe two and a half. Oh, lovely. I want more of that. Oh, I want it so bad. From Laneige, the Lip Sleeping Mask in Berry. This was in Day of the Dead. 360. From Throwback 30, the Byrobe Fig Oil, Fig Renewal Oil, $72. Oh, the bane of my existence. I hate it. 
from Set It Free, the In Beauty Power Up Spray, $22. This is my last one that I had. We're done. <laughs> and from Happy Hour, I finished the number seven Protect and Perfect Intense Advanced SPF 30 Fragrance Free Day Cream. Uh, $27.99. These were on sale at Ulta over Black Friday. Buy one, get one free. So I picked up two more. It's my daily SPF. I love it. That is everything for skin. I finished 19 items. 15 of them were full size. Four of them were little travel or minis. My total for skincare was $270.31. That's a pretty good month. Let me gather up uh, makeup beauty stuff and I will be right back. For beauty items, I have a ton of stuff to talk about. I am going to make it easy and cut out two thirds of it right from the beginning. I recently filmed my entire nail polish collection and while I was doing that, just as I was holding up a few things, I just decided I don't want it, I don't want it, I don't want it. And I already had a few set aside that I wanted to declutter, but I had never like decluttered them out of my inventory. So I have two bags of nail polishes here that are decluttered. I talk about them in my Panicure update slash finale that will be going up at the end of this month. So I don't want to go over all of those. Sorry. I don't want to go over all of those again. That's just I don't want to. So let's just go over the other stuff. I had reorganized a drawer that I keep all of my sponges and stuff in. And I had three EcoTool sponges that needed to go as I was washing stuff, cleaning stuff. These are very easy to tell when it's time for them to go away. When you open a new one and you squeeze it, you can feel almost like a I swear it almost feels like a popsicle stick or something on the inside, but these are biodegradable. And about the time that that hard piece on the inside, you can't feel it anymore, these will start to crack. And that's when I let them go. Like I, I'm not confident that I can get everything out of there and that they, you know what I mean? I just, I don't want to do that. So these are worth $6.59 a piece. So I have three of those leaving. I finished this little Onyx Pure Acetone. The price for this one is $2.99 more than the 16 ounce, which is stupid. And I don't want to give myself $4.99 for this one when the 16 ounce is $2.53. So I gave myself two bucks. <laughs> I didn't know what to do. I am calling it on these House of Lashes Iconics, $12.00. These did me well, they really did. But the, there's so much stuff built up on the lash band that when I go to try to pick it off now, like I'm actually just pulling off lashes and stuff. These ones are not at the convention. If you know, you know. Uh, so yeah, $12. I finished my Bobbi Brown foundation in my NFL project. This little bottle, I think it's 13 mils, is $29. I finished the Skylar Rollerball Perfume Pink Canyon 1450. That's a five mil size. That was pretty, but it's not something I would repurchase. From Ditto, Dido, I don't D I T O, the Magic Feather Intense Volume Mascara. This was in Turn and Burn, which, by the way, I just gave up on. Like it took up too much room in my brain, and it was not bringing me joy, so I just gave up. I'm a quitter. But I'm still using any of the prod products that I had open so that they're not wasted. And this happened to be one of them. $6 for this. The brush on it actually ended up being okay. It was good for separating. It has those, it has a synthetic brush on it with the like long pokies on it. I couldn't use it to like get really close to my lash line to grab lashes because then it would poke me. It's the whole thing. Anyway, it's gone. I wouldn't repurchase it. I finished the 10 mil rollerball of Viva La Juicy Gold Couture. This was lovely, $25. I finished the Yensa Super 8 Lip Oil in Clear Path, $29. 
I like this, but what I'm finding with lip oils is they're not hydrating. They, like, they come, they, you put them on and they don't feel thick or sticky or gloopy and you feel, ooh, it's super hydrating. But as soon as it dries in, like, I feel like it, they make my lips feel drier. I, am I, I'm weird. I get it. Okay. From 50 Shades, I finished the... Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara, $6. Holy Grail, I repurchased a whole holiday kit of those. From 50 Shades, I finished the little Grande Lash, the little baby one, like 0.7 mils. <laughs> $18 still for less than a mil. And I had a couple packs of the Poop Lunch Lashes and they both had pairs taken out of them, so I consolidated a pack and just gave myself credit for this. $8.99 just to get the packaging out of here. So for beauty, I used, didn't use, 32 items are leaving my collection. Six are full size, seven are travel size minis, etc. And I had 19 declutters, so that's how many nail polishes count for my declutter. My November totals are 170.26. The totals for November, I have 75 items leaving, 44 full size, 12 sample or mini, and 19 declutters for a grand total of $581.65. Going to your totals, your to date <laughs> numbers, I have had 704 items leave my collection, 428 full size, 244 sample or mini, and 32 declutters. Remember that my year totals have been skewed because I have counted wax, things like wax, makeup wipes, things like that. And next year I'm not going to be doing that. But my year total so far is $6,214.86. Yay, this year has been awesome. This is the first year I've really kept track like this, just keeping track of how many items I'm finishing, how many are full size, how many are minis, just really paying attention to it like this. And oh, I just, I feel, even if some of my projects, I'm not finishing everything, seeing the amount of things that I'm actually finishing in my empties each month, project panning is working for me. I am being successful. So anyway, thank you so much for giving me some of your time. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you're having a really good day or night. I hope you're staying warm. We had snow and then like a lot of snow. When I stepped in the grass to take the dogs out, the snow like came in over the top of my boots and then it rained and it turned into a muddy mess. So that's kind of what we're dealing with, but I think it's getting ready to snow again. So, okay. Anyway, I love you guys. Bye. Okay. Bye. <laughs> You're done. Except I like your lid. What a weird thing to say. I like your lid. It's like that weird fucking comment I got on a dating site one time. This is no joke. I got a comment one time and the guy wrote... There's something I like about your face. Want to meet? There's something I like about your face. No. No. Jeffrey Dahmer. There, I, I don't want to meet you. Fucking weirdo. So, oh my fucking god. Duh. Scream. <laughs> my fucking mess all the time. There, like, uh, there, there's no hole for me. That, that was English. It was. It was.